Hey guys, this is Darren with Madcap Toys. Today's topic is going to be about uh, my Plastic Army Men collection again. And um, frankly, adding a little bit of muscle to my Army Men and how we can continue and what we can use to play a cheap battle with our sons, daughters, grandsons, mom or dad, whoever wants to take time to play and you don't have to put a lot of money into it. I'm just showing you guys basically cheap ways to uh, work around some things. So I've had a lot of guys when I had my shop that they uh, come in, they talk and say, well, man, I'd like to get into those miniature army men's or Warcraft or D&D, &D, but they're so expensive. Some of those pieces, as you know, can run up to 99 bucks or so if you really want to get into detail. And you either pay to have them painted or a lot of guys will paint them themselves, of course. But uh, some of the pieces in the miniature world can get very expensive. But this is an alternative means, and that's all this is about, is how we can have fun playing with our friends. I've got a friend named Doug, I won't give his last name, that literally has 60,000 plus army men, play sets, etc. And sometimes he will host uh, miniature army men battles. Now most of these battles take place with one to three inch uh, action figures or army men like this okay and uh, that's pretty much what he uses now some of his opponents will use various action figures uh, depending on what the game is and uh, what the rules are and of course you've got to play within rules and with rules so if you've never done this before there's quite a few rules you can get and look up online that's free and you can have a good time with your friends, family, etc., and so forth. But let me show you some of the muscle that I added. Uh, the last time I did my video, which by the way, I want to thank everyone that took time to stop by and look at the video. Uh, you'll want to look at it, my Plastic Army Men collection. Um, we start out just simple. We wanted to show you some of the things that we just sometimes would use, just as placeholders, etc., and so forth. And at that time, I only counted out 14 uh, tan infantry and 14 green inf infantry. Well, today I've decided to take a little time because people are wanting some more videos on the Plastic Army Man collection and how we do some miniature gaming. And eventually I'll do a video on them and all that stuff for you. But that's going to take time, guys, because I've got so much that I'm doing. So just be patient with me, please. And I do a thank you for it. But anyway, we've gone today and we've added, like I said, some muscle. All right, right here, uh, uh, these game pieces also come from what I want to call a scavenged civilization game. Okay, so you can use various parts and pieces from various games like Risk, if you need to, uh, Civilizations, um, Conquest of an Empire, depending on what kind of uh, army men uh, battle you're going to have. Uh, you can use, uh, oh, I can't remember the one, but there's one of Axis and Allies and all kinds of little things like that. They've even got some, I believe, for World War III, NATO versus the Warsaw Pact, etc. But here I've got some cavalry, some gray cavalry. I'll just pull out different ones. They may not all, they're not all the same, but I'm not sure which ones I'm going to be pulling out here, guys. Uh, but we got quite a bit of that. I have literally right now in my count because I'm also getting an audit or account um, My gay, gray Calvary, I've got currently 79 of these kinds of um, Action figures or pieces. Okay, I've got various types of artillery Here I'll give you a total on that in a minute. This is all adding muscle and of course you can see this here is basically a catapult and uh, this is the same thing I'm trying to get it out here for you okay and now the uh, gray artillery which we'll probably be showing some more of here in a minute I have basically 71 pieces that are just being added then we've got various kinds of color guard waivers. Uh, there are the purple. We've got some blue infantry. 
basically just pikemen. You've got some uh, more gray. You've got some red, yellow, a little bit more green, goes in the green count today. And before I get on with that, let me give you that. Uh, the gray infantry, I currently have 150 pieces. Green infantry, we're currently up to 36 pieces. 10 is still 14. Purple infantry is at 22. Blue is at 22. And, uh, you know, we'll go on down. Infantry for the red is 22 and the yellow is 22. But now let's look at something that is why I would encourage you guys to uh, scavenge some of your games that you don't use to use them for little placeholders and markers. And for various vehicles that you may need that sometimes can be a little bit hard to find in the play places uh, that you usually go. Even my store sometimes, my kept toys, we have a hard time getting some of those things in. But uh, we currently have jet, uh, those gray fighter planes. We have 31 of them. And then I've got in this line, we've got more infantry. And you see each one's little different pieces, of course. All right. And uh, here's some of the infantry for the gray. And they're going to come in different shapes and uh, with different weapons and uh, accessories as it was. And I want to show you something that uh, will give my army some muscle when we play certain games or just a variety game. We've got uh, some heavy tanks or you might want to use these. Some people might use them for artillery pieces like the Paladins. But we're going to use them as uh, tanks. And uh, the tanks I have in the gray tanks, if I can find it, uh, we've got 24 of those. And then we have more infantry. Some of these are Marines or soldiers. Some of them are just uh, musket men as it was. And like I said, we've got various kinds. But you now if you're playing with generalizations, that's fine. Uh, but if you've got specific rules or specific time period you're playing, you're going to have to stay within it. And also you want to make sure I've got in this case four dice. I have tons of dice. Uh, sometimes you'll use, uh, I can't remember all of it, but you'll have sometimes way more than six-sided dice. We also have here, if I can get my hand out of the way, there we go, naval pieces. And you will need those if you play a well-rounded uh, game. Uh, my navy currently with the gray is 62 pieces. Here we go. We got a galleon. The other would be a gallery, gallery, whatever they want to call it. I may be saying it wrong. And so just excuse me if I am, please. Um, and then we also have some uh, destroyers, guys. And uh, like I said, that's pretty much what I've got. And this has been taken, like I said, guys, simple thing. We've lost some pieces uh, to the game. The Nobody wants to sit down anymore and play the game as it was. It's too slow nowadays. So we just basically recycled and repurposed these pieces here from the old civilization.